There are a few key things that you want to think about before you are drafting your will. In your will, uh, this can be a fairly complex area and it's, it's definitely beneficial to work with a professional who can help guide you through the whole process. Uh, but before you even start working with a professional, there are some things that you really want to think about in advance that is going to help expedite the process. So first and foremost, you want to think, of course, about who is going to receive your estate. So your estate is divided into two uh, components within a will. So there are specific gifts, not GIF, but gift is a, uh, so it's a specifically named item or a cash bequest. So for example, $10,000 or a painting uh, that you wish to go to a specific person or to an organization. So you are gonna think about itemizing what those gifts are. And then the other portion of your estate is called the residue. So the residue of your estate is everything else as the name implies. And that residue can be divided in any manner uh, that you might possibly come up with. So it can typically, of course, uh, for a nuclear family, it will go to the spouse and to, then to the children. Um, and under the Wills, Estates and Succession Act of BC, there are requirements that uh, the spouse and the children are taken care of by the willmaker. Um, but beyond that, they, uh, apart from that, the estate can be divided in any number of ways. So, uh, so you can divide it into shares or into percentages uh, or into specific uh, dollar amounts as well. Beyond that, uh, you're going to want to be thinking about the executors. So, the, and I say executors in the plural because generally you want to appoint at least two persons to act as the executor, although I do discourage you from appointing them to act jointly unless you have a specific circumstance where you think that might be beneficial. Generally, you're going to want to name one person, usually your spouse, and as an alternate, one of your adult children um, to act as an executor. You want to avoid naming anybody who is older than you to act as your executor. Uh, particularly your parents, unless you are a very young person and intend to redo your will at a later point in life, because of course uh, that might put you in a circumstance where where your executors predecease you, or they are simply too old to be able to deal with the administrative duties of an, of being an executor, which are are quite comprehensive. It's a, a pretty significant role. So you want to think through who your executor is going to be, who your alter alternate executor is going to be. And then you want to think about guardians. If you have children, so you are going to, you're going to want to think about who might assume um, being the guardians for your minor children uh, should, you, should you die before they become adults. So in that case, um, Oftentimes, that this, the person who acts as the executor is, may or may not be a suitable candidate to serve as the guardian for your children. Um, there may, there will likely be a, some some type of trust, so an amount of money that is set aside for the children uh, that the that person, the executor or the trustee, would be responsible to manage. Um, so, just one point on that: the executor and the trustee. Are typically the same person but they not always they don't necessarily need to be the same person uh, the executor may be responsible simply for administering the state the estate and then a trustee uh, can be appointed as well as an alternate trustee could also be appointed in case the the uh, primary trustee is not available so if you have any other questions please feel free to reach out I'm happy to hop on a call at any point to discuss your needs mm -hmm.